The Japanese Zero fighter plane ruled the skies over the Pacific during the early days of World War II. Zeros were responsible for the infamous attack on Pearl Harbor that left more than 3,000 Americans dead. It was designed to be a very offensive weapon. It was light, it was very streamlined, very aerodynamic. Warren Peach, who owns one of the last operational Zeros in existence, explains what made the Zero a technical marvel in its day. As you come down the wing, you can see how the shape of the airfoils change continuously down. They're very complicated airfoil to build, but very aerodynamic and streamlined. The uh, wing tips on the Zero folded and had kind of an intricate system here for doing that. You unlock one door, this door pushes up and unlocks that lever, which allows you to push the wing tip up manually. That was actually not for storage, but it was for getting the airplane to fit on the elevator on the aircraft carrier so they could put it below decks. You can see the uh, lightning holes that are stamped into this piece and then the, all the individual pieces that are used to make up one rib. It's a complicated way to build the airplane, but strong and light. This is how the pilot entered the airplane, was by extending all of these steps. I'm only able to step on these and this pad. If I step on anything else on the airplane, it will dent it. Step into the seat. Right here in the cockpit, and you can see the bumps right on the outside of the airplane here, is where the 7.7 millimeter machine guns were mounted. Once you get in the airplane and start flying it, it's a great performing airplane. It has a great power to weight ratio. It accelerates extremely quick. It's got really good roll rate. And that's what made it such a great flying airplane. It's pretty awesome.